So continuing with the Peter and Bloss exchange theory, we move on to mediation of norms and values uh, in the process of uh, exchange. So there uh, could be some mechanisms, uh, let's say, uh, that mediate among the complex social structures. Some mechanisms, some certain things which might be instrumental in the continuation of this exchange, something which governs, something which regulates all that. Or kya cheez regulate kar rahi hai? Blau ka kehna ye hai ke wo norms hain of the society and the values of the society. Norms, jaysay ke you know that it means the shared expectations. Values are the standards of the desirability. So existing norms and values serve as media of social life and they become mediating link for social transactions. Yet transactions take place under certain, let's say, norms of the society. वो norms को जरूरी नहीं पहले ही हो norms can emerge something some behavior which is repeated over time might take a certain shape might take certain expectations और ये expectations अगर repeat होती रहे तो that becomes norm then people let's say observe that norm and those who don't observe that norm they might be let's say some action might be taken against them. So we see that because of these norms and the values which later on might take uh, let's say the shape of laws uh, and uh, might be the ex executing agencies, these are actually uh, helpful in indirect social exchange amongst or between the collectivities. So need to reciprocate for benefits received in order to continue receiving them. So need to reciprocate for benefits. अगर benefit लिया है, तो उसका हमें कोई reward देना पड़ेगा. उसको reciprocate करना पड़ेगा. और ये reciprocate कितना करना है, कैसे करना है, ये जो society के norms हैं, वो इसको mediate करते हैं. और ये उस that is how the interaction continues. So once exchanges have occurred, norms of reciprocity emerge. कि कौन कितना करेगा और उसको reward कितना मिलेगा. So that is how reciprocal relations get established. Not only get established, but these very norms regulate the uh, subsequent exchanges uh, between the groups, between individual and the group, and between, let's say, different collectivities. So norms establish the level of reward in exchange for particular action. Level of reward. Wo norms ke tehat ek ban jata hai, aur agar norms ke tehat ko ban gaya hai, to we might consider it as a fair exchange. और जब ये reciprocity according to the norms नहीं होगी तो that means the the norms have been violated and justice has not been done and when people feel that their justice has not been done then they might react they might protest and there might be some way to come up with some kind of imbalance and then rebalance might come. So violation of norms of fair exchange invites uh, conflict, invites frustration, invites anger, invites uh, aggression. And this kind of uh, aggressive behavior uh, might result in some kind of change, changing the norms, changing the situation, changing even the transactions in this uh, situation. So norms and values govern the processes of uh, social integration and differentiation in complex social structures. Different social integration. 
ये नॉर्म्स के बेसिस पर ग्रुप में इंटीग्रेशन भी होती है सॉलिडेरिटी भी आती है और फिर उसमें डिफ्रेंसीशन भी आते हैं तो पीपल सम पीपल माइट हैव मोर रिसोर्स दैन दी अदर सो दैट्स माइट बी द क्रिएशन ऑफ द डिफ्रेंसीशन ये रिसोर्स लेट्स से जस्टिफाइड हैं अनजस्टिफाइड हैं ये और बात है अगेन दैट हैज़ टू बी लुकड अंडर द नॉर्म्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी सो द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ सोशल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रीऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन दैम तो मेजर फोकस जो है कि हमारा जो है एग्रीमेंट किन नॉर्म्स पर है हमारा एग्रीमेंट किन वैल्यूज़ पर है किन स्टैंडर्ड्स पर है एंड दैट्स वाट कॉमन एक लफज बोलते हैं वैल्यू कंसेंसस जो है वो प्रिवेल करती है इन दिस एक्सचेंज रिलेशंस और इन द ट्रांजेक्शंस ऑफ लेट्स से रिलेशंस बिटवीन इंडिविजुअल एंड इंडिविजुअल इंडिविजुअल एंड द ग्रुप एंड द ग्रुप एंड द other other group or different collectivity so one member conforms to the group norm in return receives approval from for that conformity so conformity contributes to the group's maintenance integration its stability so the group or collectivity engages in an exchange relationship with the individual so ये यहाँ पर बात होमन्स की बात थी कि वो दो पर्सनल काइंड ऑफ एक्सचेंज की बात कर रहा है यहाँ पर बात आ रही है एक्सचेंज बिटवीन इंडिविजुअल एंड द ग्रुप इंडिविजुअल एंड द ग्रुप एंड देन बिगर कलेक्टिविटीज ये बहुत हद तक इनडायरेक्ट एक्सचेंज भी आ रहा है ये जैसे कि मिसाल मैंने पहले भी दी थी कि टीचर हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स बाई इम्पॉर्टेंट नॉलेज This is uh, help to collectivity of students, or maybe you could say the parents. So he does not receive reward or salary from the students uh, or the parents. He gets the salary or the reward from the government. अब government को जो let's say का जो let's say finances हैं वो कहाँ से आते हैं? Again, that's contributed by the society. to their taxes and all that so the community might be paying to the government government is paying to the teacher teacher is serving that's the uh, collectivity of students this is this might be considered as indirect exchange but then the norms uh, are established how this exchange uh, takes place how this exchange is regulated and sometimes all that is in black and white so look at the charitable organization and individuals who who benefit so there is no direct contact between the donors to the organization and the individual receiving help through organization donors us organization ko de rahe hain donation de rahe hain organization is uh, might be running a charitable kind of uh, uh, charitable kind of services to the people ab jo ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और लोगों का कांटेक्ट हो रहा है लेकिन लोगों का उनसे कांटेक्ट नहीं हो रहा जो उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को डोनेशंस दे रहे हैं सो दैट इज एक एक्सचेंज ऑफ ए डिफरेंट टाइप सो दिस एक्सचेंज इज बिटवीन कलेक्टिविटी एंड द इंडिविजुअल कलेक्टिविटी इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंडिविजुअल्स आर गेटिंग सर्विसेज एट माइट बी uh let's say free hospital that might be uh, some some other 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 services so it is a replacement to individual individual exchange so that is how the organized philanthropy and indirect social exchange is there and that becomes norms donors uh, donating uh giving donations to the organization an organization is providing services and there is no contact between the individual and the donors they are getting the service so norm in blaus formulation moves him to the level of exchange between individual and the collectivity so that is uh, how it is uh, different from uh, homans uh, let's say exchange where focus was more on Uh, let's say 
personal kind of interaction. 